Now, when you moved out of Miss Mendoza's house, the checks kept coming to her in the same way, and she would then turn them over to you, endorse one over that was in her name, and you would get the checks. Is that correct? Yes. What did you do with the checks? You put them in a bank? No, I paid rent out at a farmhouse that I'm staying at with my husband currently. Well, what did you do with the checks themselves? The checks um, I deposited into my account and... Which account? My checking account. And you would write a check for rent? I would get a money order. What about the utilities? The utilities are included. Do you have a car? Yes. Is the car paid off? Yes. Do you have insurance? Yes. How do you pay your insurance? I pay the insurance cash. So what do you need a checking account for? I don't know. Normal people have checking accounts. <laughs> well, if you don't use the checking account to write checks, then you can put your checks in a savings account and get interest and withdraw money and get money orders. Yes, normal people have checking accounts, and it's called a checking account because they write checks out of their checking account, or you know, they have a card that's a debit card. But it seems, from what I'm hearing from you, you put the money in a checking account, draw money out, and then get a money order, and which you have to fill out a form for. I just don't understand that. Do you understand if something doesn't make sense, it's usually not so, yes. especially when there's a little scamming going on anyway. The checking account, um, basically, I use my debit card to pay my cell phone bill. Okay, so you have a debit card. Yes. Got it. So you pay your own bills. Yes. So what do you need to pay for? What do you need Social Security for if you pay your own bills? They said that I, that I need a payee to pay my bills and stuff through a checking account. All right. Account. Let's, let's finish this up because I'm really I'm getting a little bit of a zhuzh here. <laughs> One of the checks that you deposited in your account came back and they withdrew the money from your account again because they said she had been double paid because she had made her husband the payee on the account. So that, that was one check, the last check. Is that right? Mm -hmm. no, that's not uh-huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. <laughs> sorry. Okay. And in what month was that? April 3rd. April of this year. Mm -hmm. Why did you put the money in your account? I didn't put the money in my account. What, what happened? I signed the check over to Lisa. Oh, you signed the check over to her and she went to the bank and cashed it. Is that right? Right. Okay. So in April, she gave you the check, you went to her bank and cashed it. Is that correct? Yes. All right. And you had either received or were about to receive a duplicate of that check with your husband as the payee. Yes. yes. Right. You some cookie. Anyway, what was the amount of the check? Four hundred and seventy dollars. Four seventy. And what were the bank fees attendant to that check? Well, it overdrew me, so it cost me fifteen dollars, and then I had to borrow the money from the bank to cover it. Uh, just a second. I'm sorry. Four eighty-five. Now that's what she owes you so far. Sometime later, you say she came to... She says it was a wedding gift. You told her, don't bother, keep it as a wedding gift. That's ridiculous. Okay, now, tell me what happened with this old, this antique table that you say that she got angry at when you were having a discussion about this money and she threw over in your house. She just knocked it over and it broke. Let me see it. Oh, I'm sorry. And then I also did some search on the computer and this is what they say it's worth i paid 140 dollars for that table oh i know i know this table <laughs> i know this table i have this table you can have it fixed it is fixed now of course of course how much did you spend to have it fixed i didn't have to spend anything Think, my boyfriend okay, good. fixed then it. she owes you 485 dollars we're finished thank you